Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for first clicking onto this video. Subscribe, share. So today is on Monday and I wanted to end it with uh, something very special to me, which is this jar. Can you see it? I don't think. Yeah. My positive jar. So I started this journey on January 4th and today is May 8th, I think so. I wanted to discard the content in this jar of mine all this is just my grateful or positive moments in my days all these days ever since january 4th to may the last day i i added was may 4th i think may 4th yeah may 4th was the last day because i felt like i was supposed to do this video on may 4th but i've been busy and like procrastination as usual so i said let me when god deems it fit that's when i'm gonna do it because i feel like it's full and i wanted to like release it to the universe by burning it if you've seen the previous um clip that was my plan to like burn these prayers and like this positivity to the air to like you know not for a bad omen or anything but to just release it to the world and like to bring more good things in me you know so i think i'm still gonna burn when i get time but let's begin let's begin let me put it in like a place so that i can be able to i don't know i just feel like i'm all over the place i feel like i'm not making sense so yeah i'm gonna throw i'm gonna put them here so that I pick in random. So many. And my jar is gonna be empty today. So I'm gonna start filling it up today. If you if you wanna do this, I think it's one of the best positive mental health um strategies you can try. Like if you're really looking for a way to always look positive in even the negative situations that you always are in in a day this is one thing that i can recommend you to try it's it's really it's really good and i've seen like from what you're gonna we're gonna read here i kind of feel the effects of being grateful every single day like just it even happened subconsciously like i can just wake up I'm like i thank god for waking up in the morning i thank god for alighting that bus like it just happens sub subconsciously like it is something that i really 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 recommend you to try have your own jar you can diy it and you'll tell me how it will change your life and your mental state like i just i feel i feel anxious doing this on camera because i was not doing it knowing that i'm gonna say it out loud but let's see how my first four months of the year have been i'm gonna do it so quickly so 4th april this is 4th april is when i began my skincare journey I for the past between January February March I was not like f financially there yet to like invest on skincare so it's something that I really wanted to do as I begin a new month and I didn't know when that will be but I eventually was able to so yeah grateful that I finally bought my skincare package 
and for me i don't buy skincare as like per product i like buying them as the hampers like there's this website that i use so like um they there's a way that they package them so like instead of paying for a product like just one mask or like one um cream i like buying them in like a bulk of five like a gift hamper i don't know how they i find it cheaper i don't know if it's cheaper though because one day i'll try buying one 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 and then i compare with buying in bulk yeah and they usually discounted when you buy in like bulk so yeah that was that's Can't what remember. happened feb feb second I'm grateful that I was able to clean my new shop and took all the clothes there. Pray for blessings in my new journey. I had not started, I hadn't opened the shop physically, but I had already finished like with the interior, with looking for the hangers. Do you check my previous video? I hope you did. And then one thing I forgot to say about that journey is not everything was done in a day writing the name was last i stayed for like a couple of weeks before i even bought a carpet um i started with hangers and like those holders the silver ones but it was a it's a part of me that i am really grateful for because it's a it's growing and i'm being taught how to be grateful for like every day and i remember saving up for every single thing like when i didn't have a carpet i was like when i get this amount of money at least i'll be able to buy a carpet i went, I went for the first day and i chose a carpet and then i was like i didn't have money then so i was like i'm gonna come back for that carpet and then when i had the money i went back the carpet was not get there it was out of stock so i was like mm, okay maybe god decided not to buy a carpet that day so i, I chilled and now when i had I used that money on like now stock and something else. So now I got money and I went and looked for another carpet and I got it. And every day had something to like to do. Like for sure. And I really thank God for that journey. And it's going to be a good one. Because it's just the beginning, you know. It's barely six months. So praying for more blessings in this new journey. Yeah. Anyway, 16th March yeah, I really 2023. Let's see. <laughs> let's just leave that it's, it's not important okay it's important but um for you guys uh, Ooh, this is in 17th january it's a whole it's like a prayer let's read today i'm positive towards my body i love it now more than ever and I'm really sorry, body, for not having you your back. I want our relationship to be the best and greatest now than in the past. I'm gonna take care of you, put on cute clothes, eat a lot of food, of good food, drink more water, and finally take more pictures and videos for you because you're so cute and beautiful, just like you so. And that's on prayer. <laughs> god that's so sweet like oh my goodness and i'm like oh my god how did i even think of writing like that about myself oh, that's so nice that's so nice uh, 13th january grateful for the time you give me to grow god yes this is based on the fact that i am meant to do something big and that this time that i have that I have been really struggling so much um, like learning and unlearning things in my life I feel like that's a space that God has given me to refine myself before I showcase myself to the world or before my purpose like brightens or like becomes big for me I feel like I'm in the room of waiting I am in isolation i am growing and there's some things that i don't have yet that i need to instill in me slowly by slowly until to a point where god deems fit light now you're ready for this blessing now you're ready to grow to this point have i made sense that's why i said 
think I'm I'm grateful for the uh, for the time. I feel like God is giving me enough time to be the best version of myself. I have my own shortcomings that I'm glad that right now I'm at a space where I can easily catch myself. I'm even like I'm so even proud of myself that if I if I do something wrong to someone, I'm so quick to be like, you know what, I'm sorry. Even to clients, I'm like, you know what, I'm sorry. Like if even though it's not my problem, even though it's like maybe they didn't understand something or now I'm so quick to be like, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for how I made you feel. And I'm willing to work on it. And I couldn't be. I couldn't be here right now if it was not for god for sure and the work that i'm really doing on myself because i said this year i don't want blessings to pass me by because of things that i myself have bestowed on myself i don't want i don't want to be negative and let blessings pass me mm -mm. if it's my discipline i'm gonna work on my discipline like that's where i am at at the moment so yeah and i always know that i am not even i'm barely perfect as a matter of fact and i'm learning to give myself grace 9th january and it says on this day forward i want to let god know that i'm really grateful for the father he has brought me i look back two years ago today a lot of blessings have truly come my way you have always aligned me with everything that i that is meant for me even without me realizing it for sure it's on 19th january 2023 and i may not know i may not be knowing what you have in store for me but i'm ready for all the blessings and grace that's for a fact god i'm ready for it all i am even though i'm not perfectly there yet i'm gonna be ready on the go that's where i'm at like i'm so willing to unlearn and learn things and i love that for me um 22nd january let's see grateful for grateful that i finally started recording videos again what is this yes baby girl anxiety will will have to end yes uh, okay one thing let me tell you something one thing that like is has been a part of me for a long time that i've always wanted to let go is anxiety poster syndrome um overthinking um worry so funny enough i might look so confident and like knowing whatever i'm doing but behind it things like anxiety like usually try to eat me up to a point where i'm like I ha like hmm. hmm let me hold myself to a point where i can do a whole entire video and then i just delete it and i am like you know what i'm not i'm not doing that video again i did that last week there's a video that i was supposed to upload after i uploaded my finally back video the ones that you're gonna see before this that i hope you've already seen so that video i did it i shot it and then i i was editing it and i felt like you know what let me just delete it and reason being because of the finally back video the visual diary one it gave me a lot of anxiety because i was like what are people like you know that that's a part of me that that i didn't think i'll ever showcase and you know with like social media space people can critique people can say whatever people can judge people can put can throw you like bad energy so like that all that was like running in my mind and I, and I and i felt so anxious about it so i was like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put any other video up anytime soon but then i was like you know what no it's really a struggle when you're trying to battle things that you don't see because I don't see like this and I'm like, I want to be anxious or ah, I can now start getting worried. No, it just happens. And I'm really working on that for sure. I really am. I take deep breaths, by the way. Even like randomly. I'm like, if there's something that is giving me anxiety, I'm like, everything is working for me, not against me. And 
I'm gonna get everything that I want as long as I desire it and I work for it. So even not even I must like work for it, like it's already mine, you know. Yeah. I can hope I'm not talking too much. These things are so many. I just anyway. Yeah. 23rd Jan 2023. Today I'm grateful for being for God being my provider. Ever since I finished uni till now, the way I've been seeing you coming through for me all the way is just amazing and miraculous. Keep leading me through in this journey. Amen. Yes. You know, those feelings where when you finish uni, you're like, now what next? You don't know. And that's the point where you're like trying to figure yourself out, trying to figure your, your path out. I had a whole year of that, not even a whole year. Yeah, a whole year of that confusion and like wondering, am I making the right choices? Is this really the things that I want to do? But I looked back this year, I looked back like, and I was like, wait a minute, everything has been falling into place exactly where everything needs to be. Like, no cap. And being, then being in it, I felt like so confused and like so lost. But now looking back, I'm like, wow, like God has been providing, you know, like I've been managing myself financially, like I have been doing what I want. I have been, um, everything I touch has been growing. I don't know what you call that, but for me, that is God. That is my super Audio. natural power. God. Um, this is 4th March. I'm grateful for the energy and ability to sort things out or do everything despite the fact that I keep complaining about it. There's always a silver lining in all of it. Yeah, so I'm one person who I like doing things by myself, <laughs> but then I don't like doing things by myself if I make sense. Like, I know I'm gonna sort out all the pro like not sorting out all the problems, but I know that I'm gonna overcome all the challenges that come through like in my life and I'm going to look for a solution and I'm gonna find one. But then I don't like being that person in my life. I don't like being that problem solver every time in my life. Like I don't know I don't know if I'm making sense. I really don't know if I'm making sense. But I would want to sit back and like watch things sort themselves out, you know. I don't even make sense anyway. That's just that's just what I think, and that's why I'm saying I'm grateful. Cause at the end of the time, even though I complain, I'm like, oh my god, don't tell me I need to sort this too. I'll just end up sorting it, and it will just. I'll be like, on to the next, please. And yeah, my box is still full. I don't know if I'm gonna finish. 13th Feb Grateful that everything went smoothly today. I don't know what went smoothly, but I'm grateful that day You see how simple these things are This was on 8th of Feb grateful That I made my first shop sale today um, God, thank you God, thank you to more clients my, my way, please um, so I officially opened shop on uh, Feb 7th. I think it was on a Monday or a Tuesday. I'm not sure. Or a Saturday. I don't know. I don't remember. But it was on 7th Feb. And that whole day I didn't make any sale. Um, people came to my shop. But no one bought. They are like, mm, I'll come back. Blah, blah, blah. And then that day I was like, oh well, it's fine. Because I've never experienced like having a physical stall before so I was so eager and willing to learn and I was like you know what this is my day one and I'm not gonna beat myself down it's okay I went back home and the next day I opened shop again and people came and others bought that's why I said I made my first sale on the next day not the first day hey. That's how things reading this from a third person perspective. Somebody will be like, Hey girl, you are godly. January 6th. Grateful, I made a friend. 
Where did I make a friend? I've been making friends. Let me tell you something. Ah, something so nice. You know, last year, I was like, God, I am willing to create my own networks. I am willing to create my own um, genuine relationships and friendships. Like, not not because not I didn't do that in 2022. I did. Like, oh my God, all these people that I met in 2022, mad love. But I felt like in 2023, I wanted to make genuine connections, genuine, positive, growing connections. Like, and this year, I've met so many good souls. Ay, 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 ay. Through my business, I've been able to interact with so many good souls. People who even check up on me right now and I can check up on them and like, you know, who come out, who come by my shop and like, you know, say hi or bring something for me. Oh my goodness. Like, I thank God that I'm creating the community that I wanted. A positive community. Like, just radiating positive energy. And I'm not saying that people who I didn't know before, we were not connecting positively. We were. We still are. The people who we can even meet up right now, the vibes, you know, we link. But I wanted to, like, because I was starting a new venture, I wanted my business to, like, you know, bring positive people my way to create my own community to like you know i've really get gotten to know people's perspective life in a different way oh my goodness to all you who we've met in 2023 because of my business because of my youtube channel oh my goodness humbled so humbled and on networks i'm creating them right now I'm just saying like I'm creating them right now hmm and the beauty is that you start from scratch going up and I'm just all of them all of them all... I'm sipping them in because I'm also a connection to someone and that person's a connection to me so I am grateful that I've made all the friends that I've met all of them and now i'm so intentional to a point like i want to know what you do if i can support you um you know how can we build each other like those are friends who can who even call you for meetings who even oh my god who even support you and remind you you're doing something continue doing it i got your back grateful grateful i usually I'm, i usually tell myself by 40 i the amount of connections that i'll the networking that i'll have done beyond 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 i said i'm gonna put myself out there this year any opportunity that comes is a yes for me i'm, I'm, I'm going with it grateful for my mom god bless her with more and more years and yeah may she be able to see my full potential yeah that's for my mom um god continue blessing her for me answer all her prayers uh what is this uh, oh 13th april this is a whole we're gonna read it we are here for it right i even told myself i will stop beating myself down if i talk too much because it's my video it is my video it is my content and that's who i am so i'm here to give out content and if i have content okay for the past four months this was 13th april and this is a list this is a list of everything that has happened in my life for the past four months and i don't know if i'm gonna read all of them Cause it like it sums up exactly um audio review should i let me from me to the universe because i'm gonna watch this video even when i'm 30 so <sighs> okay whatever i'm going to read here there were once prayers there were once wishes and me reading them aloud 
affirms that they came to pass. Some can be little, some will be much. I don't really care how you're gonna see it. Close to me, these were once dreams. And I'm really proud of the fact that now I am living through them. So my first one, my first Thanksgiving was opening a physical shop. So <clears throat> that was once a dream. Sometime last year, I had been selling online and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do or like how I'm going to start physically. But that was my desire to open a physical store. I didn't know where, I didn't know how, I didn't know. I didn't have anyone around me who has gone through that journey that I can like, you know, ask for notes and or like some help but i thank god that that came to pass and i opened a physical shop number two um i made some specific amount of sales within three months without online so if you all know i have this is a time that i've started um posting a lot on social media i had taken a two break yeah ever since feb and even january and feb i didn't really post a lot on social media concerning my business like the clothes and what i was selling so i can say from january to may to april it was just physical everything physical sales physical clients physical i was just focused on the physical and this amount of sales that i made in a span of three months is mad like it's blessings the third one was made client connections and relationships just as i said that was my desire and i got it and i still get it and it still happens and it will not stop may that tap continue running bought skincare products yes that was a desire for me that i really wanted to start my skincare journey and i wanted to start it before I came back online so that I can I, um, and that's a journey that I will not want to stop I want to still continue you know taking care of my skin I did I did five restocking in a span of three months that is mad that is crazy by five restockings I mean like I, I restocked my shop my entire shop five times in a span of three months and I didn't have online that mad and I, I and you can imagine i'm in a base i'm i'm in a base where i didn't know anyone i did not know them but they warmed up to me and clients used to trickle in god that is crazy that is crazy um and god gave me more money to restock because every time i go back and restocking i'm using more and more and more and more money meaning more items i'm acquiring more items and more items are going wow that's nice uh the sixth one is finished i finished six books yes currently at 13th april as i was writing this i had finished six books and i started reading in feb yes i started reading in feb and i wrote this in april so we can say february March. So in a span of two months, two months I had read six books. I've always wanted to be that person for reading. So yeah, I'm really proud of that. My relationship, I want, wait, I want to have my own library filled with books that I have read. And that is what that I'm, that is what I'm really doing currently. And maybe one day, one time you're going to be able to see my library. Yeah, on God. Uh, my relationship with God is more intense than before, which is for real. I really feel like I'm now more disciplined when it comes to prayer. I'm now more disciplined when it comes to reading my Bible. I do it morning and evening. Um, I have the I have Bible plans that I always do depending on how I feel. If I'm like so anxious, I like choose a plan that. Um, concentrates more on like anxiety and worry if i'm like at a point where i'm so grateful I, I choose a plan that concentrates more on like thanksgiving and gratefulness so yeah that's what i've been doing um the next one was my focus level is at 90 percent now yes this is a time where without social media 
I was able to focus on the things that I love. I was able to um, tune my mind to positivity, which now that now I'm back on social media, I'm now struggling um, to try and like, you know, still stick to what I had already formed before but now incorporating social media in a positive way. I'm not there yet. I'm not perfect. Audio. Don't take that I am everything that I do is smooth. Nope. I'm still struggling with that, but I believe I'll get that balance. And the reason why I'm struggling is because I also on the flip side I was also like so addicted to social media. So now that I have built um like strong elements or foundation on like being without social media in my mind, reading books, focusing on my business. Now when social media, like now when I was like, now I'm ready to like go back to social media. I didn't want it to like seep away the hard work that I've put on the foundation without it. So that's where I'm at, like that balance. I'm really trying my best. I'm trying to put limits on like my consumption knowing that when i'm on my phone i'm doing something constructive either i'm posting product or i am posting something on my page or like i am also checking on news or anything that is trending and then i'm out and then i go back to reading books i go back to having walks i go back to business you get you get where i'm coming from and that, i'm not saying that social media is bad i'm just saying that for me it was really a part that i needed to really work on and i told you before i was willing to do every work to avoid missing blessings so yeah um the ninth one was i'm consistent with my workouts yes yes at this point i i'm even feeling like i'm late i need to go to the gym and then i pause this and then i'll come back <laughs> but yeah i'm really consistent with my with my workouts currently and i love that for me like i can't miss it for a dime like unless i've not paid for the monthly um subscription or i'm sick which nah i've not been sick for a while which i thank god for the grace of good health um and yeah like fitness has been it's my lifestyle i always say anyone who asks me about fitness, I'm like it's my lifestyle i cannot change the way you can as well not miss drinking water with my water where you cannot miss drinking water i cannot miss going to the gym um i have my own routines yes this is something that i really 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 wanted in my life a time like this last year i did not have routines last year i did not have and by routines i'm like waking up what do i do next nah, nah, nah. even when i feel like i'm low those same routines still go through that's how good and happy and proud i am for myself because i created my own routines i am so happy that i did and that i was able to create routines based on my own um my own schedule my own oh my god and i'm really happy because there's some days i wake up and i'm not energized to like maybe go to do workout but by the time my workout hour has arrived i've already showered taken breakfast automatically my body knows i'm supposed to be going to work out even though i did not feel like when i was waking up and i will just go and then i end up feeling nice and then i continue like that like that yeah so yeah i have a i like that for me Ooh. i'm now good in planning and saving yeah for sure i've been saving and i now plan before i buy i'm not an impulsive buyer like if i want something i'll be like I go first I check how much it is and then I go I, I go back I don't buy it so like maybe if for example the same thing I did with my skincare I went and checked and I'm like okay so it's like maybe 5,000 so I need 5,000 to be able to buy that that product so I will go back save up every single day till I hit that 5,000 and then I'll be able to by it by that time i'll know if i need it or not that's how i've been able to hit my financial goals yeah and buy things that i need yeah um another thing is i'm patient obedient consistent focused friendly more kind to myself 
Yes. Willing to learn more, open-minded, blessed and highly favored. Yes. Um those these years I told myself I'm going to work on myself. I'm going to work on my inner self. Tired of blaming other people for things. Tired of like feeling people are not treating me the way I want them to treat me. Oh, excuse me. So I decided let me first work on myself. Do the things that I'm I really really need to do on myself. That is like work on my patience, work on my obedience, work on my consistency and I believed that everything else will fall into place, which is for sure. Aspects that I wanted to change, I've been able to to fine tune them and unlearn the things that are necessary. And I love that for me. I love the fact that I'm also giving myself a lot of grace to learn and know that I'm not perfect like I am not even close to perfect and that is why I need to work so hard in making myself um better every single day so that by the end of the year I'm at a better place you know I'm grateful more... that I hit 300 subscribers today on YouTube this was 20th January I'm really grateful for you guys to be honest so so grateful like wow thank you so much for supporting me and i trust me you you see this is a sign grateful that i hit 300 i notice i feel the love i know that you guys like i really appreciate every one of you and if you watch me and you haven't subscribed please kindly subscribe makes me happy <laughs> ah, 9th january today i hit 50 days done on my fitness target so grateful so this is the 9th january i think this is my 60 days challenge i was at day 50 yeah so i did a 60 days challenge okay let's you can check my videos it's so unnecessary oh i'm not gonna talk about that I, i'm saying it's so unnecessary because i told you guys i'm not perfect 9th March. I've done a lot of weird things and I'm like, wow. Wow. They're all stepping stones for learning. 8th March. Grateful for the gift of life. Yes. And I love my life. God, I love my life. For sure. Because I, I even feel like it's going to even get not even feel i know it's gonna get even better 10th april Audio preview. grateful for my journey this far for the lessons i'm learning may i not ever forget them yep all the lessons that are coming my way um first first march grateful for the book i'm currently reading think and grow rich I'm really learning a lot of stuff I would want to implement in my life. Yeah, that book really impacted me. I'm going to reread it, actually. There's going to be a time I'm going to reread all the books I've read. Today, I'm trying not to say a lot about business and, like, sales numbers. Because I don't want... I don't want you guys to think that that's how life is. No, no. But that's how life is at times, but not all the times. Because I know that this space can judge. So grateful um, that I finally posted a YouTube video. Yeah. Fourth May. I posted. I finally started creating content again. Yes. Yes. I was like I was so scared because of the long break that I had taken. If like people are gonna watch. Um guys gonna say about this video like i was un anxious about it but i think about that i that i posted it i'm great grateful for god for bringing you in my life even though indirectly why did i say that okay it ha what damn what? 16th john grateful that i'm on my lane making memories on my own pace on my own race, on my own terms, my journey is and will always be different. No one is like me with my thoughts and experiences. That's how much I, I matter. Wow. This has just hit home.
yeah yeah and like my life really matters and i don't know why i usually feel like i'm made for something so great 25 march grateful for how far god has brought me blessed me and graced my life today i read i read back my journal and i was indeed humbled by that young girl who just wanted to make it in this life and has and has and have or know her purpose in this life yes let me tell you something about journaling i've been journaling ever since high school and i usually have these faces where i take my past journals and like i read how i used to think then and funny enough when i go through the journal like i went with through my through my 2021 journal hey let me tell you all the things that i desired then i got like I, i'm at a place where i'm even sitting on some of the blessings that i needed then and it really humbles me I think that is why I love journaling cuz I know like even when I'm 30 god willing I'll go back and I'll see what my 24th year old girl wanted and knowing that I'll I'll be sitting on those prayers and like living through them then it just cuz me I usually believe everything I've written down and I desire comes to pass and I did not believe that before but the thought of rereading your journals it just shows you it happens to a point i'm like you know what i believe it i believe when you write things down they come to pass i don't know but it works 16th feb grateful that i'm slowly overcoming yesterday's tragedy tragedy yesterday's tragedy Oh, a story time that I'm going to tell you. Hey, 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 hey. hey. I've been through it. I've been through it. Grateful for, the, Grateful finance. for the finances. I had to sort out the branding of college collections. Yes, that much. I finally sort out branding. You know, let me tell you why I'm even grateful for finances. I have been in that space where I did not even have a dime. I didn't even have a coin. Hey, to even move from one point to another and me and those people i will not even borrow at his g help me with 100 shillings i'll return mm -mm. if i don't have i don't have and that is why where i'm at right now i am so grateful even if i if even if i like if i hold twenty thousand like this if i hold five thousand like this if i hold 100 shillings like this kenya shillings like this i'm so grateful because i remember there's a time i did not have and I was feeling so, so pathetic. Yeah. Today, Audio. we bought all the materials for the shop. Thank you, God, for the blessings. I pray that you continue blessing me and giving, giving me your grace. Yeah. Yes. That's a journey that I'll sit down and, like, talk about. Maybe it might help someone. Oh. Amen, amen. I'm grateful that I'm working through all my routines smoothly, growth, grateful, blessed. Let me tell you how much I yearned to have routines. To a point where I'm like, oh, I'm so blessed that I have a routine now. Yay! Ay, ay, ay. I was those girls, I just wake up, I stay in bed, and then I wonder, oh, I'm hungry. I go eat, I make breakfast, I chill, I watch something, and then I stay on social media for the longest like i'm just on social media instagram tiktok just scrolling 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 and then i feel so bad about my life and i'm like now what am i gonna do and then maybe even in social media you see people who you know they're doing something with their life which again social media lies you know you cannot have flawless life like that but you get where i'm coming from that agony that draining you know so i was so yearning to be like having my own routines waking up and going and go out and doing what i love and i'm at that point right now and i'm still not there yet because i feel more greater things are coming yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. grateful to see another new week of chasing my dream life stay focused girl amen 
29th January. If you've reached to this point, thank you so much for watching. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm really so grateful financially, and will continue blessing me financially. To be honest, because there's a point, there's a there's a time I was so broke, and I even wrote it in my like journal that I hate the feeling of broke being broke, and I don't wanna be broke again. And may this be the last time that I'm gonna be broke. I am attracting money. I am attractive to money, and money is my best friend. And like, I'm gonna work so hard to give myself that life that I really desired and i'm not there yet trust me like oh i'm not even there yet i have you seen have you seen the way you know even your friends are bawling <laughs> ah, i'm not there yet but i'm getting there i'm getting there i'm giving myself everything that i desire yes that life for sure oh this one this one i feel like i'm gonna end it here grateful that i finally bought my dream phone ooh, 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 ooh. i did i bought my my dream phone i bought my dream phone yes an iphone be my dream for days that has been my dream for days and i think like i'm gonna end this there yeah i did it i did it like i did it i bought my dream phone and uh, and i'm gonna burn this all this i'm gonna burn each and every you see these ones that have remained i'm gonna open them by myself silently and burn each one of them not because it's a bad thing but burn them because i feel like that's a very nice way of letting things go to the universe if you get what i mean right okay that's it thank you so much for watching this video i hope <laughs> I, I hope I make you inspired to dream big, to believe in yourself and believe in whatever that you want and know that the universe has your back and that the universe wants the best for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for the love that you've given me in my previous video. Oh my goodness. And I believe that I am meant to do this. You know? And... To those who i connect with and i love you okay and know that you're not alone um to the things that this journey is gonna bring my arms are open my mind is open my soul is ready and yeah thank you so much for watching bye oh also i kindly recommend you to try the gratitude jar it will really help you to be really grateful for even the small things you'll even start living a day at a time so yeah bye subscribe 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 road to 400 subscribers